uh, it's quite common that, that the Julia package have this, and it's also very common that packages have these uh, called example notebooks to showcase uh, um, you know, what you can do with the package and so on. Um, and I also want the examples to be easily testable, so include them in, in, uh, in unit testing. Um, and I also wanted to, to be able to present multiple output formats, so for example, Markdown and uh, HTML pages, uh, Jupyter notebooks, and just the script file itself. Uh, and I also want m minimal maintenance, so just one source. Um, so what was the problem uh, before? So maintaining multiple outputs is, of course, very difficult. They will uh, diverge with time. Uh, and also, the, I guess the biggest reason is that notebooks are really bad in version control. Uh, so it's just an example. Uh, so a very, a very small change can result in very big uh, diffs. Uh, because a notebook is a very rich format, so it keeps track of things like uh, evaluation count, output, uh, usually in, uh, in multiple formats. So uh, iJula, for example, uh, evaluates uh, objects uh, in, in different output formats, so it keeps track of the HTML rendering and the image rendering and so on. Uh, so it's, it's not really a very good thing to include in, in a Git repository. Uh, so this is the kind of problem that I wanted to fix with, with this package. So the design goals uh, from the beginning was that a source file should be uh, have simple syntax that we, you're already familiar with. Uh, and also that it should be valid Julia code. So it should be a .jl file that you can just run. Uh, and it also should be able to produce multiple outputs. Uh, so I guess the answer to this, if you uh, go back for, to the first point here, so the, the syntax that we are familiar with is, of course, Julia syntax. Uh, and to the second bullet here, so that means that everything that's not code has to be behind, uh, behind comments, right? Uh, and then I also need uh, multiple source transformations to, to make this possible. So literate has uh, three uh, transformation functions. So there's a markdown function, which basically transforms the source file to a markdown file, uh, which you then can use with, with the documenter, for example. Uh, so everything that's uh, behind the comment is, is treated as markdown, so that will be a markdown block, and everything that's code will be included in one of these uh, documenter example blocks for, for evaluation with documenter. And then you can also create a notebook, which, yeah, again, just take the, the comments as markdown, put them in markdown cells, and put the code in, in code cells. Uh, you can also evaluate a notebook if you want to do that. And finally, just a, a script function which basically just removes everything that's not uh, code. Um, so if you do it like this, then you can have a, uh, the source file is just a regular text file, so you can generate a notebook and so on uh, while you're building the documentation so you don't have to actually store the notebooks in your repository. So here's an example of a source file. Uh, I hope you can see. Okay, it's a little bit dark here, but uh, basically here we have a, a Julia comments. So inside here we can just use regular markdown syntax. So this is a, an H1 heading here, and then some regular text, and then we have some uh, code inter interspersed here, uh, and then some more, more text, and then some more code, and so on. Uh, so the next slide is actually the result of this. So my heading here was an example of a literate source file, and then we have the text here, and then the code block, and so on. So here it's also actually evaluated. So this code block evaluates to just this uh, generic function G. Uh, and then I had to split this in two parts. So the second part here was, to, was the plot itself, which is here. So it, we have the code block, and then we have actually included the, the plot from, uh, from plots here. Um, and then I just want to show some examples uh, that are found in the, wild, in the wild. So Optim is a package for optimization. Uh, and they actually use Literate for some of their examples. So let me just show you uh, what it can look like. Uh, so this is the, the source file. So yeah, you can, this is also a feature here. You can just guard things for for the markdown output only and so on. Uh, and you can use, here's a math block and so on. And then it's some code and more text and some code and so on. 
Uh, and if you just take a look at what, what the output of this is, so they use documented land to, to generate uh, markdown and actually uh, MK docs for the last part. Uh, so this is the output. So we can see that uh, we have some regular text and then we have some LaTeX uh, equations and so on. And here's the code blocks and so on. So I think it's quite a nice uh, example actually. Uh, let me go back to... Right, and another uh, example is Cormillion's blog, if you maybe have seen it. So this is an example of using literate with, uh, together with, uh, with this uh, static HTML site generator called UDoc. Uh, so let me just show you that as well. So this is very similar, of course. You can include images here, so this is just regular markdown uh, with some code and so on, so it looks very much similar. Uh, and here's the output. Let me so there's some beautiful images. Uh, there's also some GIFs if you go all the way down. Um, I think, yeah, so this is captured output from, from uh, using literate. And so I think it's quite a quite nice example actually for, for this. And finally, uh, this presentation itself is created with literate. So uh, I have a source file which is literate and then uh, I turn it into these slides with the uh, with a remark package, actually. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you for listening. And we have uh, two and a half minutes for questions. Um, do you think it will ever be in Juno or anything like that? Because that would be nice to have the output down the side. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. I, I'm not using Juno myself, so... No, me. I only used it yesterday, but so... <laughs> yeah, uh, I think they have some integration for another similar package called Weave. Uh, so I don't know, actually. You'll have, you should ask someone who uses yeah, Juno. Yeah, I've got no idea. Or <laughs> Sebastian. Right? Are you happy? Yeah? Okay, thank you. <laughs>